Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you how to use the new step record function that appears in Studio One version 3. Now, for some of you, you might think this is a very laborious way of doing things, but it's actually really, really useful if you want to get really tight stuff, especially with synths like arpeggiators and things like that. So I'm going to show you two examples. I'm going to use it on some drums, and then I'm going to use it on a synth just to show you how useful it can be and how it works. So I've got, uh, as I say, two channels here. I've got a, a, an instance of impact, an instance of Mai Tai. And I've also got my impact, as you can see here. I've gone to the drum mode now so I can see the drums. And actually, if we zoom in a bit tighter as well, nice and big like that, then when we start playing them in, you'll see them appearing, the names on the, on the timeline, which is very useful as well. So to have a step record work, you've got to hit that button there, and then you'll have this toolbar arrive. And if you hit enable, it starts adding stuff in. And you can either follow quantize uh, or you can choose notes. And so I'm going to choose notes and do that. Now I've set up a shortcut as well, which is going to give me back and rest. And I've set up control R for rest, which means it, it moves up and down, and control B for back, which means I can basically move around very quickly without having to go to rest back, rest back using my mouse. Uh, and so that's very useful. You can set those up in the keyboard preferences. So to set it up, what I'm going to do is do a bar actually for now. Come down to bar there and double click on there to create a MIDI part. Now, what you do is you choose a note uh, length and then you play it in. So if it's enabled, it'll start putting stuff in, but I can just quickly listen to my parts come down. So what I want to do first is I want to put four on the floor with, uh, in fact, I'm going to put uh, eights of hi-hats in first. So I'm going to come down to here to uh, eight, one eighths, press enable and start playing hi-hats. Now see what happens. Now I want to do some very fast ones then. So I'm going to go to that and go one, two, three, four, and then go back to there. And as you can see, the note length changes. I could play that now. And it's all completely spot on because we're using step record. Now, of course, you could then go to record mode and just start recording over that now live. You'll also see that the velocity has been picked up. So the harder you press it, the harder the velocity goes in. So let's put some snares in. So let's go back. I want to show you the back and forth. So we're going back to the beginning of the, the bar. And I'm going to choose my snare, which is here. And I don't want anything to play bar one. But I want something to play two and four. So to make that work, I go rest here or as I say I've got a shortcut so I press control R and that will rest for the length of whatever you want so we're going to work in obviously we only need a quarter note here so go press control R next bar snare control R next bar snare so we've got the snare and the kick in go back to the beginning let's put the kick drum in now so we're going to come to the Eighth notes again. I think we'll try the eighth notes. That'll give us a nice effect. We'll go sixteenths and get some nice offbeat stuff. So we're going to play a, a kick on the first beat of the bar. And then we're going to go forward. Rest, 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 rest. Put one there. Rest, 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 rest. Let's try one there. See how that sounds. Now let me show you on a synth now, because that's on the drum parts. So we're going to come to this synth now. We'll turn off the parts and that, and we're just going to take that out of, uh, back to the beginning. So we've got this synth part. Go up a couple of bars. So I'm going to do uh, a nice little riff here, but I'm going to open that up. So what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning of the track. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to... Double click on there to get some something to record into. And I'm going to go rest, 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 rest. So I've listened to that now. Let's open that up a bit now. So we're going to go to four bars. So we'll put that in. So we're going to come here now. 
So we'll enable that. That's what we want to play. Our next chord is that. So. So listen to that now. So you can see what we do, and basically that's how you build it up. It's as simple as that, and very, very useful. And one thing I wanted to mention before, and I showed it to you before, if we come back into the drum part, you'll see, if we make this big enough when we choose up the drum names, you can actually see the drum names play on the, on the timeline. Very, very useful. So there we are, that's Step Record in Studio One version three. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.